More than half of all merchandise for sale in the United States comes from foreign countries. The goods arrive by train into rail yards and by truck into commercial cargo facilities from Canada and Mexico. And they enter at U.S. seaports and international airports from around the world. With all of this merchandise entering our country, U.S. Customs and Border Protection collects about $30 billion in duties, fees, and taxes from these trade imports every year. This makes CBP the second largest revenue generator for the U.S. government behind the Internal Revenue Service. Hello and welcome to Inside CBP. I'm Michael Pope. U.S. Customs and Border Protection facilitates the flow of about $2 trillion in trade each year. CBP does this while preventing terrorists and terrorist weapons from entering the U.S. through the international trade channels. The process of facilitating the smooth flow of legitimate goods into the United States is managed by U.S. Customs and Border Protection's Office of Trade. The CBP Office of Trade maintains close partnerships with the trade community and foreign governments. By directing the nation's trade policies and programs, the Office of Trade must manage the many risks of trading with other countries. Concentrating their efforts on the high-risk areas of trade that can cause loss of revenue, damage to the economy, or threaten the health and safety of the American people are of the highest priority for the Office. These high-risk areas are known as priority trade issues. There are seven priority trade issues that present the highest risk to American trade security. Anti-dumping and countervailing duty. CBP levels the playing field for U.S. companies injured by unfair trade practices by collecting additional duty on products sold at an unfairly low price. Intellectual property rights which is focused on stopping the importation of counterfeit and pirated goods that harm our economy and threaten the health, safety, and security of the American people. Import Safety. CBP works with other U.S. government agencies, foreign governments, and the trade community to ensure unsafe products do not enter the United States. The newly created Import Safety Commercial Targeting and Analysis Center is the heart of this operation. Textiles, which provide 40% of all the U.S. import revenue. Revenue collection. CBP collects about $30 billion in duties annually. Penalties. CBP issued over $120 million in fines to non-compliant importers in fiscal year 09. And agriculture. CBP guards the U.S. food supply and agricultural sectors against the intentional and unintentional harm from specific foreign plants, animals, pests, and diseases. CBP maintains a robust trade enforcement program to ensure compliance with U.S. import laws. By using a multi-layered, multi-faceted approach to enforce U.S. trade laws and collect the proper amount of duties, U.S. imports receive the greatest amount of protection and the greatest amount of scrutiny. Now, many non-compliant importers use various techniques to cheat the system, including using false documents, transshipping their products through other countries, and underreporting and undervaluing their products, all various ways to avoid paying the proper duties. On the front lines of intercepting the flow of bogus merchandise into our country, CBP import specialists use targeting information from the Office of International Trade to examine all suspicious imported goods for violations and stop counterfeit, mislabeled, and dangerous products from entering the country. In 2009, CBP initiated 18,000 trade enforcement seizures valued at $300 million and assessed $120 million in penalties. Whether by train, truck, ship, or airplane, U.S. Customs and Border Protection is on the front line of U.S. international trade. Through effective use of commercial targeting, coordination with international partners in the trade community, CBP is more than capable of facilitating the flow of legitimate trade across U.S. borders while protecting the American economy from unfair trade practices 
and illicit commercial enterprises. To find more information about CBP Trade, search for International Trade on CBP.gov. For Inside CBP, I'm Michael Pope.